So mm. you are the yoga master. Um, Patabi Joy sadly passed away and it's kind of on your shoulders now. So I want to hear a little bit about <laughs> how you know because it's kind of hard being in a yoga family it's like being in a family where you know yeah. you have to run a business i want to hear a little bit about <laughs> um you because i know stories from the older students who used to come to mysore and they have known you as a six and a seven year old so when i talk to your mother she tells me that you were a very sickly child because you had Rheumatoid, what, what did you? I had a rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever. When I was five years, I had tonsils. Yeah. Very bad tonsils. Then it got cured. And then when I was uh, 12 years old, I had this rheumatic fever where I couldn't walk for three months, four months. And I was on, I was bedridden. I was on the bed for, you know, four months. I couldn't move. So I got treated for this. Then I had a hernia operation. I went through lots of difficulty. I, I saw a hospital So you understand when I was the a, people who come to yoga with yeah. a lot of difficulties, <laughs> right? But I saw this difficulty when I was really right. in my young ages, like, right. like when I was six, seven years. So then when I started yoga, it made me you know, healthier. So what age did you start yoga? I started when I was seven years. But uh, not very seriously. What, I was kind just of, what kind of asanas would you do? We like, used to just see and whatever my... I've seen some of this stuff you did. It isn't really just, oh, we just <laughs> played around. It's like grabbing your, your heels and yeah. whatever it is. It's a lot of Whatever my grandfather used to tell us to do, we used to do that and see others and do. But now I no... also he ran away when they'd say, come on, Chirac, come and do yoga. Like my <laughs> son runs away when I say that. You would hide. And say, oh, no, all my, you know, all my friends used to play cricket in the on the street, right. and uh, I I had to do yoga. So I said I used to do one asana, two asanas. I used to run away from the. We had another uh, door Entry. in the back, so I used to run away from there and play cricket with my friends. <laughs> and and Guruji used to come in search of me, and all my friends used to protect me. They said, oh, your grandfather has come. He's, he's come, he's in search of you. So I used to go and hide somewhere <laughs> there. And as soon as he goes inside, I used to come out and I used to play cricket. So it was like that. Which is normal for, yeah, it's for like my son. <laughs> it's time for yoga. No, please, no, anything but yoga. You knew innately that this was a, that yeah. this was a great thing for you. And I think that you still practice, but around 18, you got serious about it, 18, 19 years. Yeah, again, uh, it, then, then I had lots of, uh, cricket is a very big game in India. So everyone is was fascinated. Mm -hmm. we always, don't we always beat India? Yeah, no. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, sometimes. <laughs> so then, uh, then we moved from uh, Lakshmi Pram. Until then we were staying together with Guruji. Then my father came from uh, Saudi Arabia. He was working in Saudi Arabia. So we oh, built Saudi Arabia. Saudi yeah. Arabia. So we, we built a new house in Gokulam. Gokulam, where now the Shala is. Right. So that we had a built another house where we moved when I was 14, 15 years. We stayed there. So I totally got detached from all this yoga, everything. My mother was teaching, but I was not doing it for four years. I took a break, a few years. And then again, when I was 19 years, my mother, uh, she started telling me that I should go and learn yoga. In that meantime... And help your grandfather, right? Because... <laughs> he was alone. There yeah. was no one to and support him. And there was him. how many students? There yeah. was all, all of a sudden it was taking off yeah. and all these Western students were coming and he was trying to teach yeah. these hundreds of students who would come. Because Guruji was alone. His uh, elder son, Manju, he went to, he came to US. Yes. And my other uncle who he died in an accident. Right. So there was basically there was my grandmother and my grandfather. No one was there to support them or help them. So my mother was telling you should go and learn. You should go and try to help my uh, father. And then I said, oh, I'll go tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow. So I was postponing like for several <laughs> months. And one day I said, okay, today I'm going. To, and you never stopped going. I right? never stopped. If this was in uh, 1990. So then uh, I said, okay, I'm going to go now and uh, teach. From then, I didn't, never stopped. So you had a very strong practice that you, Guruji was teaching you yeah, all. I had to go lots of difficulty because I was 19 years. All my friends are going here, they're partying, they're going outing. 
when I went back, it was a very big challenge for me to to get serious in this. Eventually, I was not very serious about it. I just went just like that. And somehow I got so interested in this by doing everyday practice. Now, not only did you do a long practice yourself, you also assisted Guruji for over 20, 20 something years. Yeah, I assisted. And how many hours, because the students kept coming and, and it was from four o'clock in the morning <laughs> until two o'clock in the afternoon at some time. That, times, that right? was in 1998. Uh, then we started getting more students. Until then, there were only few students, like 20, 25. That was more then. But I was there with my grandfather each and so every you were, day. So you learned, it was like Krishnamacharya yeah. learned from his guru, yeah. Patabi learned from Krishnamacharya. You learned. I was with him all the time. Oh, I know. Just doing, being, <laughs> you know, whatever he says, doing that and teaching all these people, helping these people, helping my grandfather. So I sacrificed my whole life to doing that. Uh, and that you get up at? I used to get up 1 at... 1.30 in the morning. Then, yeah, <laughs> then I used to get up at 2.30. Uh, oh. And I used to get up, take bath, everything. I used and to practice. drive from Gokulam to... But you to, practiced too, didn't you? Or did you I, practice? I drive in... Gokulam to Lakshmipuram. There I practiced. And two hour practice. Yeah. Then you teach for five or six hours. Yeah. And then you go home and do it all over again the next day. Yeah. So it was, a real, it was a real sacrifice. Yeah.